Hello everyone, very warm welcome to all of you on the platform of KSG India. My name is Akhilesh and I am faculty of geography, geography optional over here. Today I am going to discuss about the origin of solar system, how earth was originated in a very light way because it is not easy to discuss everything in the videos. So for that you have to come into the class. But yes, I am giving you some kind of uh, very complex uh, concept which is not easy to decipher uh, just after the reading the book. Not easy to connect it just after reading the books because books have written on the humanist, I uh, mean humanities book has been written on the perspective of humanities and some science is involved over there. So you will find little bit subjectivity being a student of science or geography or environment. You require a clear cut cause and effect relationship. So this cause and effect relationship if you are going to find in humanity, so there will be so much of subjectivity that, that baffle you that sometime bother you also because being a student of this geography. I also have suffered from such kind of uh, problems uh, because the lines has been written, well written in your NCRTs and other books authored by great writers, great teachers, but indeed there is something which is missing over there and it is not implicitly explained over there, uh, sorry explicitly explained over there, but yes it is implicit between the line. So in these videos which I am giving you is actually helping you to understand those things which is in between the lines and those are uh, the crush of UPSC. UPSC used to ask question from those uh, concept which is actually not deciphered but dealt in between the lines. So in today's topic I am going to give you uh, the, the origin of earth, origin of other planet. Apart from it, we are also going to discuss about origin of water, from wa where this water came, right? And not only this, in this series of video, you will get to know how the atmosphere was generated as well as evolved and how the life was originated on the earth and the change in the environment we have. So please tune in and see all those video which is going to be part of this discussion. So revise it, see it, then go for the study, uh, go and uh, see the, those chapter which is given in NCRT and other books, uh, you will find a little bit easier kind of understanding over there. So let us begin the origin of the solar system. As I told you, uh, our master is what sun, sun is the father of the solar system. And there are many theories that has been given to understand the origin of the solar system as well as origin of the earth that will be discussed in the class in detailed way, their merits and demerits and all those things. But the most acceptable theory which is uh, because this these are the hypothesis and these are based on certain axioms. Axioms are uh, uh, idea which is self-made. It has some kind of hypothesis, it is some kind of individual thinking and some kind of science also. So axioms are more in all these theories, but the most rational axioms, the most acceptable axioms that is going to be discussed uh, with respect to origin of earth is given in the tidal hypothesis proposed by Sir James Jean and uh, further revised by Harold Jeffrey. So, tidal hypothesis. According to this uh, tidal hypothesis, the sun was there and the sun is what? Consist of hydrogen and helium. It was a, it is, still it is gaseous mass. This is our sun. And there was a star, a giant star bigger than the sun that has been named intruding star, fine. These all are axioms, fine. So there was a bigger star that is what intruding star 
it was a smaller over here but yes it has become larger again then a smaller so this intruding star coming towards the sun and start attracting the mass which is loosely held by the sun because this 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 is going to be bigger star fine bigger star it is named as intruding star सेम स्टार हैज बिन गिवन ओवर देयर ये छोटा इसलिए दिखा है कि काफी दूर है थोड़ा इतने मतलब विजुलाइज कर लो आप इस चीज को जैसे जैसे ये पास हुआ तो सन को भी ये बड़ा दिख रहा था पता चला हाँ यार काफी बड़ा है फिर ये दूर चला गया लेकिन इस आने और जाने के प्रोसेस में उसने अपने टाइडल फोर्स से सन से कुछ मास बाहर खींच लिया देर वॉज सम मास ऑफ सन प्रोट्रूडेड outside and this protrusion was like in cigar shape why in cigar shape because once it was away it has less gravity once it is going to be closed it has more gravity so it has uh, means pulled more mass and then are going away further less mass so there is a cigar that is containing hydrogen and helium it comes out from this this uh, passing by this this intrude uh, means intrude what uh, what i said intruding star this intruding star uh, is uh, responsible for detaching this much mass and that too in cigar shape acha bachche ek cheez aur bata do geography jab aap padhte ho optional khas karke तो बहुत सारी ऐसी थियरी दी गई हैं जिसको देख के ऐसा लगता है कि काश अगर हम भी होते तो हमारा भी नाम थियरिस्ट में होता क्योंकि एग्जियम्स पे थियरी देनी थी सोच करके बताना था तो क्या पता आप एक थियरी पढ़ रहे होते गिवन बाय अखिलेश सर लेकिन नहीं था मैं तब तो नहीं पढ़ते एनीवेज दैट इज़ द फनी पार्ट ऑफ दिस जोग्राफी एंड एट दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पार्ट ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट ऐसा नहीं है कि बाकी सब्जेक्ट दूध के दूल्हे हुए हैं हर जगह आपको जब इवोल्यूशन हो रहा होता है सब्जेक्ट का तो इस तरह की चीज़ें घटनाएं परिघटनाएं दिखाई पड़ती हैं सो यू आर गोइंग टू हैव सच काइंड ऑफ फनी थियरीज दैट हैज़ बीन गिवन विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन इंडिविजुअल्स थिंकिंग बेस्ड ऑन सर्टन काइंड ऑफ साइंटिफिक assumptions and sometime they usually uh, take this science uh, in understanding this theory in other way also means it is not purely science aur science hi use kehta hai ki yaar ye theory galat hai to jab aap ise detail mein padhenge to ye jo cigar shape ka nikala gaya hai na iske piche bhi karan hai aisa nahi hai ki pehle ye cigarette shape ka tha fir baad mein cigar banaya gaya so this will be discussed in detail way in the class it is not possible in discussing in a small video so that's why pehle ye cigarette tha baad mein cigar cigar bana kyun bana wo baat ki baat hai dekhenge use fir kabhi but yes this intruding star is responsible for what this this ejection of uh, huge mass which is what the cigar shape mass outside the sun and if you see the sun sun is containing 97.5% mass mass within which the sun is going to be there just 2.5% mass has been distributed in entire solar system that consists of eight planet now eight earlier there were nine planet but yes now there are eight planet the eight planet first planet is going to be mercury second planet is venus third planet our earth the blue planet then the next planet is red planet that is what mars then our jupiter jupiter quite big jupiter followed by saturn and saturn has uh, all the annular rings are there so many planets are there having annular rings yes saturn then we have uranus then we have neptune let me reduce the size 
we have Neptune. Fine. So these are the eight planet, eight planet that were originated, and now you understand why the cigar shape has been given. Fine. Okay. So I'm just naming it. Please name it Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Beyond Neptune, there is a belt that is called as Kuiper belt. Kuiper belt. Fine. This is what? Kuiper belt. This is Kuiper belt. And our Earth is present in a very, very uh, conducive environmental condition where life is possible and this this zone is called as Goldilocks zone Goldilocks zone in this Goldilocks zone what happened the uh, the planet is not so close to the star are not so far from the star that water can remain in liquid state and liquid water is responsible for is need of origin of life this is needed for the sustenance as well as origin of life if it is very close to the sun water will remain in vapor phase if it is far from the sun water will be in the ice phase it is frozen so what is required liquid water and it can only be present in the zone which is not so close or not so far from our star and that's why it is also called as habitable zone habitable zone so by this tidal hypothesis we have the understanding that planets the solar system were originated and one of the planet is our earth this blue planet one thing which i am going to discuss over here which is ex implicitly given in your book that these are the inner planet so up to mars these are inner planet and one thing more these inner planets are also called as terrestrial planet they are called as terrestrial planet why they are called as terrestrial planet or earth like planet because they have hard substratum that means if you stand on those planet you are going to be on a hard substratum you are not going to sink over there while from this jupiter onwards to neptune this is called as outer planet outer planet or jovian planet jovian planet there is gaseous formation only these are made up of gases especially this jupiter and saturn both are called as gaseous giants and because the gases when far away from the sun get cooled so these uranus and neptune they are called as ice giants uh this has been given in your book but it it is not given why they remain in gaseous phase only what is the condition prevailing over there in case of inner planet that they become having hard substratum they are going to have hard substratum so the answer is sustained fusion reaction these are the inner planet which were close to the sun their rate of cooling was less as compared to the far away planets so due to this low rate of cooling the sustained fusion reaction goes on and first this hydrogen change into helium helium into other heavy elements other heavy elements so these heavy element happen to be there because of sustained fusion reaction and this sustained fusion reaction have taken place over here because of the vicinity from the sun these inner planet are very close to sun and hence sustained fusion reaction keep on going over there and that's why heavy elements are formed they start making core outer core mantle and crust while in case of outer planet the cooling rate was very high indeed there were 
fusion reaction but the fusion reaction was not reached of the level of inner planet these jupiter as well as saturn and uranus and neptune they are gaseous giant indeed they have certain core which is solid in nature but entire mass was not converted into solid substance that is because the rate of cooling was higher temperature was reduced heat was dissipated and sustained fusion reaction haven't taken place for longer duration that's why they remain what they remain gaseous giants so please take down this information and then try to read the origin of earth as well as planet next video we are going to decipher some more important concept of our solar system thank you very much